haunted house on Willow Creek. It was a dark and stormy night in the small town of Willow Creek. The rain was pouring down in sheets, and the wind was howling like a pack of wolves. A group of five friends, Sarah, Jake, Emily, Michael, and Tom, had gathered at Sarah's house for a Halloween party. As the night wore on, they decided to play a game of truth or dare. Sarah went first. Okay, Michael, truth or dare? Truth. Michael replied. Sarah thought for a moment before asking. Have you ever seen a ghost? Michael laughed. No, I haven't. Have you? Sarah shook her head. No, but I have heard some creepy stories about this old abandoned house on the edge of town. They say it's haunted by the ghost of a woman who died there years ago. Jake scoffed. That's just an urban legend. There's no such thing as ghosts. Emily spoke up. I don't know about that. My grandmother used to tell me stories about her encounters with ghosts when she was younger. Tom rolled his eyes. Come on, Emily, don't start with that stuff. Suddenly, the power went out, and the room was plunged into darkness. What the hell was that? Jake exclaimed. I don't know. Sarah replied, trying to sound brave. Maybe it's just a power outage. They all sat in silence for a moment before Michael spoke up. Hey, I have an idea. Let's go check out that old abandoned house and see if it's really haunted. Jake laughed nervously. Are you serious? It's pouring rain outside, and we don't have any flashlights. Emily spoke up. I have a flashlight on my phone, and we can use the umbrella in the hallway to keep us dry. After some discussion, they all agreed to go check out the old house. As they made their way through the rain and wind, they couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. When they arrived at the house, it looked even creepier in the dark and rain. The windows were boarded up, and the front door was rusted shut. I don't think we should do this, Tom said, his voice shaking. But Michael was determined. Emily shone her flashlight through one of the boarded up windows, and they all peered inside. The interior of the house was in disarray, with old furniture covered in dust and cobwebs. Suddenly, they heard a loud noise coming from inside the house. It sounded like something was moving around. Let's get out of here. Sarah said, her voice trembling. But before they could leave, the front door creaked open, revealing a dark, shadowy figure. They all screamed and ran back to Sarah's house, where they huddled together, trying to catch their breath. What the hell was that? Jake exclaimed. I don't know. Michael replied. But I think we just saw a ghost. From that night on, the five friends were plagued by strange occurrences. They heard strange noises in their houses, felt cold spots in their rooms, and saw apparitions in the shadows. It was as if the ghost from the old abandoned house had followed them home. And they knew that they would never be able to escape its haunting presence. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more updates.